All right, we on? Sweet. Okay, since I'm on a roll, uh, I'm gonna make another uh, YouTube video or a quick tutorial for uh, Cubase. Uh, this will be how to have a good working setup. Uh, it's kind of cool. So I'll just uh, dive right into it. All right, so right here you got a blank uh, template for Cubase 8.5. All, all these tutorials I think will be on Cubase 8.5, but I also got 10 and I got 7. And don't, I mean, uh, it, 10 is pretty much the same as as uh, as uh, 8.5 as a 7 is 8.5 it's fairly universal um, so we'll be able to, to use it on either or uh, all right so first uh, there's the uh, top bar um, how to fill this with what you want you want to right click uh, this area and when you right click you can see a whole bunch of uh, controls that you can add to the the top of this now you could have a the the goal you could have is to fill this top space as much as possible but um i just pick out the more important uh more important things um the, and they do go in order but you can't actually fit all of them so I've tried, uh, so pick out the ones that are most important. I'd have a time display, because that'll just show you, uh, you can change that, see how far you are, um, how many uh, seconds have passed, so that would be, or a minute 12, uh, or, or the 37th bar. Um, another important uh, feature is to add a snap quantize. It's probably the most important feature that I use all of the time. And that'll let you toggle between uh, the lowest or the the highest uh, denominator of uh, of notes. So you you, um, you can't play anything more than an eighth or a sixteenth or a thirty second by by changing that. So you'll want to have time display. I'd say snap quantize because that's so important. Um, I use uh, so yeah so right click I use um, markers a lot too um, and we'll get into that in a moment and uh, you can just uh, jump between each one by, by clicking on those uh, let's see what we got here uh, transport is one of the more important ones because you can um, cycle through each area and just hit play or hit record when you're ready to record um, but there's no uh, thing there so far. Um, there are no instrument. You can have, um, let's see if we can fill this well. Uh, tool buttons is important. Um, tool buttons allows you to add a track and add, give it color. Let's, why don't we do that uh, right now? So you're going to right click in, in this area box and click add an instrument track and uh, from this toolkit um, click any instrument that's in a, you can change its color so that you know red so now it'll be marked as red uh, this allows you to, to play this this area um, adding lines and drawing is for the uh, the actual um, component editor, uh, and you can draw a, a uh, an area to edit. So do that. Click, and it'll open the key editor. So that's what the key editor looks like. And from there, uh, the same tools uh, that are up here will apply in this area as well. When you right-click it, um, and you can add all of them too. Uh, it seems to fill quite nicely or they, they'll all be there so you right click the open area and you can uh, click what it is you want but uh, so that 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 should be a, a simple enough setup to have um, you can test each one by opening it and then closing it and they are in order so that uh, will start will start there versus if you click this last one it'll end up here I'll get rid of rid of those two. All right. So the second 
most important thing once we've got that that top set up is you're going to want to um yeah we, i was about to get to that thank you you're going to want to click uh here which is the windows layout and the status line is what you have here so you could or um, have down here uh, you could get rid of it if you want uh, info shows you the uh, amount to, to scrub uh, the two most important that you're going to want or not want is uh, overview allows you to, to, to show where in the project you want to go um, so that that can be moved uh, so that little area that we have is is scrubbed to that uh, but anyways the two most important are uh, inspector and racks you're, you're gonna probably want just the inspector because it allows you to tweak and add things inside I, I use most commonly uh, the inserts because these are the um, uh, plugins that you have that are added to each uh, instrument and you can add them under under inserts and along with um, controlling the, the volume and the pan direction of each instrument that can also be accessed in uh, devices uh, F uh, mix console or just click F3 uh, but you can have the option of, of adding and doing that here. The other side is racks. They, I, I like how they, they put them. So th that'll go on the left. This will go on the right. I, I wouldn't recommend using this because it cuts off um, the side. But uh, you can add instruments here. And you can also, uh, this is uh, good, is you can go to uh, the media bay. And if you have um, content that is like uh, sound sound content or little way wa or wave files you can uh, sample them uh, here uh, like uh, give them a listen and uh, if you like it you could just literally drag and drop it from the uh, media bay and it'll it'll create a, a sound file for you and it'll have that that sound there it's up to you you you'll only be able to see that much you won't be able to see the full thing so I, I like to keep it off. I can always access the media bay by going to media and or F5. F5 is to open up the media bay and it'll open up the same thing. And you can uh, choose between vocal sounds and all these kinds of things. And you can also uh, expand your media bay um, by having it scan uh, file folders uh, specific to what it is you're looking for. Um, that's another um, attribute. Yeah, you can just make it bigger by clicking on. <laughs> the more you click on, the more you uh, discover. That's what I find. I think this is the file folder. Uh, but um, yeah, all media, you can look through each each area and and add to this. All right. So we've gone through the top. We've gone through uh, uh, media bay, uh, adding instruments. Um, one of the the last things I, I think this is 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 a is a pretty good setup is you're gonna want to right click in this area, and I think the best thing for you to do is to add uh, each track um, that's below these. They're nicely um, uh, cut into uh, you can see lined. Um, they're nicely cut into each each um, area of uh, expertise so how I set up and make a very good um, I guess uh, yeah set up is to uh, add uh, these on top I would add the uh, the marker track on the very top now this allows you to skip to um, each point in the song that you want to create um, there's a there's a double cycle marker and a single cycle uh, just click the single cycle for now and it pops up uh, each area so you could say like this is click there say this is the chorus and it'll say chorus and if you add 
another one that's later down and say uh, this is the pre-chorus or, or whatever. Um, the, these uh, functions you can switch between one and two re really quickly and, and go over each one. Uh, to have it uh, cycle, um, you can just click that and it'll open up on top of it and have a, a cycled, uh, or the only difference between this one is is that it 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 shows you like the length of, of each each uh, cycle. So this only shows you a flag of where it starts, but you can move this and say, that's also the chorus, but it's only going to be two bars. So chorus is now two bars. Uh, the arranger chain, I don't, I, I mean, there's some things like I've, I've, I've had this pr program for about, uh, seven years I've been writing, but I mean, I don't even use half the stuff, so you'll have to discover it for your own. I'm very sorry about that, but I'm just going over some basics and this has been a, a long video, so I'm going to cut it there. I'm going to, one last thing I'll show you is, is, is organization. 101 which is folders so just have a folder and name it in or a type or an instrument type and you do that by yeah going over that clicking it and you can drag each one in by by holding the, uh, the mouse and and it'll fall in there and you can do the same thing with this and uh, expand and collapse and you can make it smaller by dragging it like this uh, you keep you keep adding them, and uh, you'll have a whole bunch of folders, and uh, it'll be nice and neat, and you can go to each one. Uh, in the next, uh, however, that's going to be really, 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 really uh, big. It's just going to be a very, very uh, massive file. So um, you're going to want to make it small. In the next one, I'm in the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, make Cubase files smaller and. Uh, Let's leave it at that. So there's a, a very standard uh, setup, and I hope this is helpful. All right, uh, like and subscribe, and um, see you in the next video.